We're here uh, at the Wyndham area, new GM. We have a big sales conference matchup for you tonight between the visiting Redwood Valley Cardinals and your very own Wyndham Eagles. Tonight we got a good matchup with you for you tonight. Uh, we have the five one and two Wyndham Eagles and uh, the Redwood Valley Cardinals who are eight and one at the moment. It's gonna be a very tough battle tonight for the Wyndham Eagles as they go up against a bigger school between uh, in Redwood, but the ladies have what it takes, and they've shown it so far this year. And that is a great dig there by Hochul. Carlson puts it over. Number two with the kill. That's Warren Hansen, a senior outside hitter, height at 5'10". Has the height advantage there in this one. Number 19 to serve for Redwood, Ava Lund. And it's out of bounds, one to one Wyndham. One to one tied up here. Lauren Hughes had to serve now for the Eagles. Serve is over, ooh, good play there. Number nine puts it right into the net. And that was Marissa Mace. Redwood has nine juniors, five seniors, and two sophomores, so a very experienced Redwood team tonight. He was set to serve. Set up by favorite team, number two, with the spike, and that's out of bounds. That was Lauren Hansen again, trying to get her second kill this evening. He was set to serve again as the Eagles take a 3-1 lead, and it's over. Dug up there, set, tipped over, and a great play by the Eagles. Great job by Jasmine Carlson, the set by Husset. Katie Kelly with the spike, good block there, and that will be the first block of the evening for Warren Hansen. And subbing in now for Redwood is number 14, Maria Babel. Serving for the Cardinals is number 10, Mackenzie May. Porsche Port to serve. Mass Mars bumps it over. Great dig there. And number four. Hughes set dig. Mars with the spike. Great save there by number 10. Over the net. Carlson passes it over to Hughes. Hughes set sets it up to Porath. Porath with the kill. Great job by Porsche Porath. She's a very experienced freshman here tonight. That's her first kill of the evening. Four at the serve. Good dig there. And that's right in the net. And that's going to be a Wyndham point. Good job there by Madison Mars. As she slaps it down in the Redwood, uh, in red, inbounds in the Redwood area. Four at the serve. Dig there. And that will not be a good job there. That was number 10 on the dig. Uh, Mackenzie Mace. That's an ace for Porath. And Porath will serve again. I'm Jack Nostrum here at Wyndham Gym. We have Redwood and visiting Redwood Cardinals and your home team, the Wyndham Eagles. If you're just joining us, it's a 6-3 game in favor of the Eagles. As number 13 for Redwood will serve. And that is... She's not even on the roster. Good dig there by Carlson. Oh, right into the net. Good serve there. Thirteen will serve again. Carlson with the pass over to Houston. Houston sets it up. 
Good play there by Redwood. now is the game. 13 will serve and as soon as I can I will tell you who that is. She was not on the roster. You set the set for Mars. Mars, oh a good block there and that'll be out. Lauren Hansen with her second block this evening. A good dig there by Mars. Houston sets it up for Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly with a kill. Okay. Number 13 is Bailey Krause for the Redwood Valley Cardinals. Mars will serve. And that will be an ace for Madison Mars. 8-7 to seven now for the Eagles. Very big crowd out here tonight. Good student section anyways. Mars will serve, ooh. Set over, Mars will dig. Hewsett sets it up for Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly with the kill. Katie Kelly, first time calling her name tonight. Windham on the left side of your screen. Redwood on the right side. Big South Conference volleyball tonight. So far, it's been a good game. Mars to serve. Good dig there. Third. Katie Kelly with a great dig. Hewsett sets it up for Morgan Hochul. Hochul sets it over. Good dig there. Set up for number five. And then number five is Allison Curry with her first kill this evening. Nine to eight now is the Eagles lead. And serving now will be number two, Lauren Hansen. Mars gets it up to Houston. Houston bumps it up to Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly sends it over. Bumped over. Oh, miscommunication there by Redwood as Houston sets it up over for Hochul. Good block. Oh, great recovery there. 14 sets it up. Good block there. Oh, great dig by Jasmine Carlson. Hochul the spike. And that's a kill for Morgan Hochul. to the game for Katie Kelly as Natalie Rash, number 11, will enter the game for number 6, Lauren Hewsett. Redmond to serve for the Eagles. Here's a serve by Redmond. Dug up there. Hanson sets it up. And that will be blocked, but it will be out of bounds, so it will be Redwood's point. Tipped off to have Michaela Hawker's hand and out of bounds. Now serving for Redwood. Hannah Redmond is set. Natalie Rash. A little good dig there. Set up. Number five. Great dig by Carlson. Sets up for Hawker. Hawker with a kill. Michaela Hawker with another kill this evening. As it's 11 to 9. Jasmine Carlson to serve now for the Eagles. Set up there. Hanson sets it up. Oh, another kill for Allison Curry. Like I said, this Redwood volleyball team has a lot of experience. Carlson with the pass over to Redmond. Redmond sets it up. Push, 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 push. Out of bounds. Just barely, though. As we're knotted up again at 11. Great game so far. Both teams showing that they have enough experience here at the varsity level. Number five, Allison Curry will set or will serve. Carlson with the dig. Redmond bumps it up over to Mars. Mars gets it over and that's out of bounds. Mass Mars just put a little bit much on it as Redwood will take their first lead of the evening. We're here game one. 
Wind them down 12 to 11 to the Redwood Cardinals. As Curry will serve, Redmond sets it up for Carlson. Carlson jumps it over. Set over there by number one, JC Ford. Redmond sets it up. Focal with a great spike. Number 11, Lexi Kodak sends it out of bounds. As it is a back and forth game tonight for the game one matchup. Hoko will serve now for the Eagles. Hoko sends it over. Great dig there. Hansen sets up. Number one, four. Great dig there by Hannah Redmond. Madison Mars bumps it over. Ford will set it up. Great save there. Carlson sets it over. Ooh, it's up. And it's going to be out of play. A great effort by both Redwood Cardinals there, Ford and Allison Curry, but they just ran out of uh, space to get the ball over to the Eagles' side. Hochul in the serve now for the Eagles. Sends it over. Hansen will set up, number nine. Oh, good save there. It's set over by Curry. Redmond sets up Porsche Porth, and that'll be a kill for Porsche Porth. Great kill there by Porsche. As it's 14 to 12 now for the Eagles. Hochul to serve again for the Eagles. There's a serve. Hansen to set. Number nine, Marissa Mace. Mars bumps it over. Good dig there. Ford sets up. Number 10, Mace again. And Mace a great save. Mace with a spike, and that's out. There's actually two Maces on the team, Marissa Mace and Mackenzie Mace. Marissa being the junior, Mackenzie being the senior. And we'll have a timeout here. Score is 15-12, Eagles. And Redwood called the timeout. It is big big turnout for the student section this evening as it's a little bit of mixed uh, apparel as we have some kids wearing red, white, and blue in honor of the ones who uh, risked their lives for the September 11th uh, attacking. And then we have a blackout. So it's a little bit of a mix of both, but a great turnout nonetheless. And hoping to see the Eagles knock off a uh, very good Redwood program team. As I said, Redwood is 8-1 to start the year. Their last game they played Cedar Mountain Comfrey and won 3-0. And they are 2-0 and on the road and Wyndham is 2-0 and at home. So very good teams here tonight. Hochul to serve. Set up by Mace. Bumped over. Redmond to serve. Porsche Parth. Oh, great. And that'll be out of play. Porsche Parth with another kill. Her third this evening. Oka will serve again for the Eagles. Save there. Bumped up. To Mace. Mace sets it over. Porsche back over. And that's going to drop in there. Wyndham's defense collapsed towards the net. And that would have been Marissa Mace on the kill there and just kind of lobbed it over everybody and no one was there for the Eagles. Number 19 to serve now for Redwood. Ava Lund. She gets it over and that'll be out of play. Mr. Wendorf is fired up about that one. And so is the student section. As they have the famous yes chance. So Lauren Hayes will come in for Redmond and she will serve. Good dig there. Lund sets it up for Mace. Carlson passes it up to Houston. Houston bumps it up for Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly sends it over. Mace sets up Hansen. And Lauren Hansen with her second kill this evening as it's a seesaw battle this evening. Back and forth, and now entering the game is number 14, Maria Bebo, 
as she comes in for number 11, Lexi Codet. Serving now is Mackenzie May. Hoko passes it to Houston. Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly with the spike. Good save there. May sets it over. Good dig there by Katie Kelly. Portia Pora sends it back over. Oh, good block there by the Eagles. Oh. Net violation there by the Wyndham Eagles as it's a 17 15 lead for the Eagles. First game here. Going a little lob over the net. Houston sets up Porsche Porra. Porsche Porra sends it over. Good dig there. Oh, good. And that's going to squeak over. Houston sets up Mars. Mars spikes it over. Oh, right into the net. Seventeen sixteen now. Mace serves it. Good dig there by Mass and Mars, and that'll be won't be playable. Windham Eagles just need to communicate out here, and they'll be fine. Kenzie Mace with the serve. Mass and Mars digs it. Porsche Par with the spike. Good dig there. Hansen gets set up. Morgan Hochul passes it. And Mars sends it out of bounds. Mackenzie Mace will serve again as Redwood takes their lead. Hochul with a great pass to Houston. Houston over to Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly lobs it over. Hansen saves it. Oh, good block there by the Eagles. It's tipped and over by number 14. Maria Bebo. And the Eagles will call a timeout. Mr. Wendorf is trying to encourage his ladies to do a little bit better job communicating. And the coach for Redwood, Andy Regnier, is just in telling his players to just keep doing what they're doing as they have a 19-17 lead. The Eagles just need to claw their way back and just chip away at the Redwood lead as they're only down by two. Well, information to keep you updated with the Wyndham Eagle Volleyball. They, their last uh, game was during a tournament in Mankato, the Mankato West Tournament, as they tied Mankato West, Mayor Lutheran. And then they beat Maple River, Austin, and St. Peter. And the Wyndham Eagles are on a three-game win streak right now. And the only loss for uh, Redwood this year is against Jackson in three games. As Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly spikes. Oh, and that's going to be an eagle point as it's tipped out of bounds by Mackenzie Mace, number 10 for Redwood. Entering the game now is Michaela Hacker. And for number 20, Jasmine Carlson, Portia Porath will serve. And the serve is up and over. Mackenzie Mace digs it out. Oh, and a little miscommunication. Hanson. Oh, and looks like there's a little violation there. So it'll be Eagles point as it's 19-19 as Porsche Porth will serve. And it's over. Mackenzie Mace passes it up. Ford passes it over to Hanson. Hanson with a kill. One of the top players for Redwood is Hanson. And she is a senior this year. One of five seniors. Now serving for Redwood. Number 13, Bailey Kloss. And that'll be a win them point. Great job there by the Eagles. Zach Stu with the play on that one. And he gets a nice high five from Hunter Hung. Yeah. And you hear the yes chant by the student section. Madison Mars will serve now for the Eagles. Oh, great dig there by Mackenzie Mace. Oh, and that's going to fall. Wyndham takes the lead, 21-20. You're just joining us. Game one here. Eagles just took the lead. It's 21-20. Eagles wearing the blue. Redwood wearing the black. Mars serves. Mackenzie Mace bumps it over to Ford. Ford passes it to Hanson. And that's a tip off of Warren Hewson. So that's a Redwood point right there. Warren Hanson wins. One of the best volleyball players, 
I think the Eagles have seen this year. Houston sets it up for Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly with her spike. That's going to be down. Ooh, good play by Hanson. Great block there by Katie Kelly. Mars with a great dig. Hanson's going to set up number 14. Oh, it's a lift. That'll be Redwood Point. Polko, it seemed like she lifted that one. Looked like it from where I was sitting also. Hanson will serve. Here's a serve by Hanson. Mars passes over. Hughes passes up for Hawker. Hawker sets it up. And that's a kill for Michaela Hawker. Hawker listed at six foot. And that definitely helped being six foot. Hannah Redmond to serve. She'll set that one over. Kenzie Mace digs it out. Hanson will bump it over. Over to Carlson. Carlson sets it up. And it's oh, it's in the net. Great play there. Oh, and a miscommunication by Redwood. And the Eagles take the lead once again. And my goodness, this crowd's kind of starting to get rowdy over here as Hannah Redmond will serve again for the Eagles. Here's a serve. Oh, oh, it's up. It's still up. And it is down. As it looks like it bumped right in front of Carlson, but it looked like she kept it up. So we're tied up again at 23. And number 14 will serve. And that's Maria Bebo. Redmond sets up Rash. Rash bumps it over. Oh, great play there by Kloss. Good save there by Mars. Oko spikes it. Oh, great play. Way to stay with it there. She will send it over Hoko and Mace will, and that's a net violation and that's Redwood Point 24-23 Mr. Wendorf is not happy with that one as it didn't look like anything was wrong there and it's a timeout for Wyndham I think Wendorf asked Rush if she stepped over the line or went under the net and she claims that she didn't so maybe the ref saw something that we all didn't but it looked fine from where I was 24-23 Redwood up on the Eagles as I said a uh, couple of the key players to watch in this one is for the Eagles is Jasmine Carlson senior libero Hannah Redmond, who's a senior setter. Michaela Hawker, who's a senior middle hitter. And Portia Porras, freshman, who's a middle hitter. So, Eagle, it sounds like both teams have a little depth. Even the younger players for the Eagles seem like they have the experience. But, like I said, when your team like Redwood, and you got nine juniors, five seniors, and two sophomores only, it, you're looking pretty good. The bowl will serve. Polko passes up to Redmond. Redmond sets it up for Rash. Rash bumps it over. Ford sets it up. The spike and that's a kill. Number five. Allison Curry as she gets her third kill this evening. As the Eagles drop the first game. 25-23. Good effort there by both teams as it was back and forth battle between both and that's what you really want to see in games like these. Well, the Wyndham Eagle football team plays tomorrow night against Redwood. So, you're seeing a couple Redwood football players stroll in now and then. And, uh, but yeah, that game will start, looks like set at 7 o'clock at Island Park and it looks like the weather forecast is supposed to be a little chilly so bring something warm to keep yourself warm but, uh, I think it was only supposed to be a high of 60 tomorrow so it's not looking too too warm but hopefully the sun is shining so we'll have a nice night for football if you're just joining us uh, 
Jack Nostrum here giving, er, broadcasting for you. We have Ethan Clare uh, working the camera. So it's, we had a little technical difficulties, but we got it figured out, so it's all good. Next game for the Eagles, volleyball team, will be against Folda. One to er, Folda is one and seven on the year. So the Eagles look like they, they should win that game against another smaller school. The school is struggling. And Redwood will face Marshall Tigers, who have started off a little sluggish compared to teams in the last. And, they, and Marshall started out at 6-3 and three on the year. But they were in a Southwest Conference Challenge tournament in Marshall. And Marshall beat Lakeville North, a very big school, two games to nothing. But they lost to Lakeville South two games to zero. So it's it's nice to see Marshall and some of the other Southwest Conference teams competing with the metro area teams and making it good games. So that's that's what it's all about. The second game will be starting here in about 30 seconds. As I said, Redwood won the first game, 25-23. I think Wendorf is just telling his girls to stay positive and the game was so close it could have went either way so we'll start the second game here shortly this Redwood team very experienced and they have an 8-1 record and that goes to show how far experience can get you but you also got to have a little talent and a little team chemistry it looks like both of the team, these teams have both the talent and the chemistry. While we're back here for game two. Another another great turnout here at the Wyndham New GM. As a lot of the community and obviously the student section showed up to show some support for the girls. So we'll start game two here shortly. Looks like Jasmine Carlson's gonna sub in for Michaela Hacker early. Couple of key players for the Cardinals is Lauren Hansen, number two. And number 10, Mackenzie Mace. And serving for the Eagles now is Morgan Hochul. And a great job, great start for the Eagles as Mass and Mars gets a kill there. Morgan Hunkel is a junior this year. Great save there. May sets it over. Redmond sets it up for Mars. Hansen set it up. Oh, and she just places the ball perfectly on that one. And she gets her, uh, she gets her fourth kill tonight. Hoko passes it over. Husek sets up Porsche for us. Good save there. The boat sets up Porsche for us. Good job there. Mace bumps it over to Hansen. Hansen over to Carlson. Carlson. Oh, and a great kill by Portia Park. Freshman only, and she's doing a heck of a job tonight. As she gets her fourth kill this evening. And it's only game two. Two set to serve now for the Eagles, a junior. And it's over. Good job there by Mace. Hansen over the net. Carlson with a great job there. Mars, and that's a kill from Madison Mars. As the Eagles take a 3-1 lead. And right now the Eagles just got to keep their foot on the gas pedal and don't stop. And don't let Redwood think that they got a chance to come back in this one. Use it to serve. Over the net. Ooh, tough to handle there. And Hansen, oh, a great job by Morgan Hochul. Oh my goodness, great job. Hochul set it over. 
The ball gets it over to Hansen. Oh, and another kill for Lauren Hansen. That's her fifth kill this evening. Her and Pora have been doing a great job on getting the kills this evening. Klaus will, number 13, ba Bailey Klaus. Klaus. Oh, great dig there. And it looks like a net violation. Or somebody stepped over the line for Redwood. That'll be Wyndham Point. Number five, Portia Porras will serve for the Eagles. That's over the net. Good dig there. Great job by Hanson. Over the by Babu. The ball. Hewsett sets up Mars. Mars ups it over. Oh, good job there. Oh, and it's still in place. Nice job. And Portia Porras will send it over. Great dig there by Klaus. Hanson sets, er, spikes it over. Hewsett sets up Mars. Mars will bump it over and into the net. Good dig there. Great play there by Hewsett to play it off the net. Mars will set it over. The ball sets up. Oh, that's going to be over. Oh, and she set up the Wyndham player, Katie Kelly. Hoko passes it to Hewsett. Hewsett up for Hawker. Hawker sets it over, er, spikes it over. Oh, a great block by Michaela Hawker. That'll be her second block this evening. She's doing a great job at the net. And Mars to serve. Good dig there by Mace. Lebos. Another kill over there by Bo. Lebo. Number 14. I've been calling her name a lot tonight. She's been doing a great job. 5 to 3 now for the Eagles. As number 11, Lexi Codet serves. And that's going to be just over the net. And Houston doesn't have enough time to react to it and get it up. Game two here, Eagles are up five to four. It looks like we have a little problem at the the score, I think, scoreboard. Looked like it went out for a second. And we're back to play. Kodat will serve for the Cardinals, and that's over. Mars passes it to Houston. Houston bumps it over to Carlson. Carlson right over the net, barely. And they'll keep it alive as Hanson puts it over. Hewsett sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly, oh, great dig there by Hanson. They keep it alive. A great back and forth action. And it's going to be Redwood Point. Wendorf did not like that call. Kodat will serve as it's 5-5 five to five now. Katie Kelly, good dig there, and nobody home for the Eagles. There's no communication there. Kodat will serve again. Katie Kelly bumps it up. Busett passes it over to Carlson. Carlson jumps it over, and that's going to be out by just barely. Redwood is finding a groove right now. Kodat will serve as it's 8-5 to five now as the Eagles see their lead fall apart as Hawker with the spike. Great block there. Mace will send it over. Mackenzie Mace. And another violation on the Eagles. And it just looks like they're not getting the call from the referee. Wendor, Mr. Wendorf will call a timeout. He is not pleased either with the refing or somebody sticking their foot under the net. Some people, if you come to the games, you wonder what the student section is chanting at times and stuff that's pretty random, actually. As they started the mac and cheese chant. Looks like Sam Huska is down there starting that.
So the Eagles took an early lead. And they see the lead fall apart as they're down nine to five now. Mr. Wendorf tried to fire his team up. And it looks like the team's looks like they got a little bit more confidence right now after the breaking of the huddle. Kodat will serve for Redwood. And that's out and that's what the Eagles needed right there. They needed a quick point to get back into things and to break uh, the streak of Redwood. Hannah Redmond comes into the game for Lauren Hussett and Hannah Redmond will serve. It's over the net. Mace puts it over. Redmond sets up Holko. Holko with the slap. And Foss could not handle that one. Foss could not handle that one, sorry. Redmond will serve again for the Eagles. Here's a serve from Redmond. And that's a great serve by Redmond. Lauren Hansen sets up Mace. And another net violation on the Eagles as, I don't know if somebody's putting their foot under the net. I don't know what's going on, but they have gotten that call, that they have gotten that called against them this whole night. Hoko passes it to Redmond. Redmond sets up Hoko and Hoko puts it right in the net. The Eagles need to regroup here. Number five. Allison Curry was in the set or was in the serve. Hansen sets up number one. JC Ford and she has her first kill of the evening. The Eagles need to find a way to get back into things. And good dig there by Morgan Holko. Marissa Mace. She gets her first this evening. And the Mace sisters are doing really well for Redwood and Wendorf has seen enough once again and he needs something to say to the girls. I don't know what he's saying but probably telling them to communicate. As it's 13 to 7 here in the second game, Redwood took the first game 25-23. The Eagles just need to bounce back and need to find a way to win uh, this game and take away the momentum from take away the momentum from uh, Redwood. Redwood being a very experienced team, they know that they can't let up. Because a team like Wyndham will definitely take advantage of a team who lets up. So the Eagles break the huddle. And we're ready to get things going here again. As number five, Curry will serve. Holko sets up Redmond. Redmond bumps it over. JC Ford sets up Mackenzie Mace. Holko passes it to Redmond. Redmond over to Holko. Holko slaps it. And that's going to be a kill for Holko. Morgan Hochul has shown why she's a good leader for this team tonight. She's been working really hard. Now Carlson will serve for the Eagles. Mays passes it to Hanson. Hanson will set it. Oh, a great dig there by Mass and Mars. Mays will serve. Good block there. And no communication there by the Eagles. And now number 19. Ava Lund will come in for J.C. Ford for the Cardinals, and Lund will serve. Carlson passes it to Redmond. Redmond up to Portia Porath. Portia Porath with a great spike. Hanson with, oh, a great job there by Carlson. Holko gets it over. Lund over to Mace. Oh, good job there by Madison Mars with the backup. Holko with the spike. Oh, and that's going to be a a little too hot to handle. Holko with another kill this evening. And that's what they need. They need somebody who they can 
bounce off of and be able to get more confidence. Hoka will serve. Four passes over to Hanson, and Hanson with another kill. She has been tough to handle for the Eagles tonight as she gets her seventh kill this evening as she's just been on fire. Kenzie Mace will serve for Redwood. Mars to Carlson. Carlson back over to Mars. Mars puts it over. Oh, and she was setting it out of bounds there. Might have been communication problems there for Redwood. As Ava Lund set it way beyond uh, Marissa Mace. Lauren Husett will come into the game. Oh, a good dig there. And that'll be out of bounds. That's two quick points for the Eagles. That's a good way to get things going. Lauren Husett with a great ace there. Husett will serve again. And over the net. Ooh, good job there by Curry. Hanson sets, oh, and Carlson cannot handle that one as she thought she could have. Klaus will, Klaus will come into the game for Marissa Mace. Klaus will serve. Mars passes it to Husset. Husset sets up Portia Porath. And she'll have another kill. Portia Porath doing an excellent job tonight. Once again. As Hawker will come into the game. Kayla Hawker anyways. Will come into the game for Carlson. Portia Porath will serve. That's over the net. One gets it up to Curry. Oh, good dig there by Madison Mars. Oh. And it looked like Oh, that, that looked like it was over the net. The Redwood defender looked like it was over. Now Hanson will serve. Good dig there by Sidney Broberg. Carlson will bump it over. Klaus will set it up. Good, another good dig by Sidney Broberg. Mars will push it over. Oh, good job there by Madison Mars. Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly, oh, oh my goodness. The Eagles are, just cannot find a groove. They get a couple points and then Redwood just breaks it up. Hanson will serve again for Redwood. Robert pass it over. Oh, and that'll be an Eagle point. Looked like beforehand could have been called, but they didn't call it, but now they did. Hoka will come into the game for Broberg. Mars will serve for the Eagles as it's 18 to 13 Redwood. Mars to serve, and that's over the net. Ooh. Oh, and a great job by Katie Kelly. Massa Mars with a great save. Hoko bumps it over. Oh, and a kill by Curry. As it's been the Curry Hanson show all night tonight. And the Eagles just haven't found an answer for it. 11 will serve, and that's Codette. Good dig there by Mars. Another good dig by Husset. Hansen will set up for, oh, and nobody home for the Eagles as they have been struggling tonight. And looks like Natalie Rash will come into the game. For Hacker, Michaela Hacker. Rush, who is a junior this year, coming into the game. Katie Kelly passes it to Husset. Husset sets up Hoko. Hoko puts it over. Good dig there. Hanson will set up Mackenzie Mace. Oh, good job there. Klaus will bump it to Hanson. Hanson to Mackenzie Mace. And that'll be tipped. And it'll be a red one point as Redwood takes a commanding lead, 21 to 13. Redwood leads one game to zero. Kodat will serve again for Redwood. Husset sets up Katie Kelly, Katie Kelly, oh my. A good block there by Curry. Curry and Hanson, and Mackenzie Mays. 
doing good tonight. And now Kaylee Jansen will come in for Katie Kelly. Mars Dig. Set or Houston sets up Hokel. Oh, another good job there. Oh, miscommunication by the Eagles. That won't matter. As Carlson sets it over, and it tipped off of number 13, Klaus. Redmond in the game now for Jansen. Hannah Redmond will serve. And it is over. Good dig there by Kodet. Hansen sets up Curry. Curry puts it over and Wyndham point right there. Now Wyndham just needs to keep this streak alive. Hannah Redmond will serve again for the Eagles. And that's over the net. Kodet with a great dig. Hansen sets up Mace. Mace will set it over. Good dig there by Mars. Carlson sets up Hokel. Hokel puts it over. Hansen will set it up. And that's a great block there by Hokel and Rash. Oh, good job there by Lauren Husset. Morgan Hokel. Spike, and that's a kill for Morgan Hokel. Good job there by Hokel. Good job there overall by the Eagles as they are clawing their way back. And the crowd's getting into it. Gotta love that. Redmond will serve again. 22-16. Oh, good job there. Oh, it's there. Oh, my. In the middle of all the Eagles. Good job there. And now into the game will be Mace. That would be Marissa Mace, the younger sister of Mackenzie Mace, and she'll come in there for number 13, Klaus. Redmond sets up Hoko. Hoko with the spike. Good save there. Good dig there by Jasmine Carlson. Hoko puts it over. And that's going to be out just barely. As it's game point here, 24-16. Redwood leads one game to zero, and this is game two. Redwood looking to take an early 2-0 lead. Uh, great dig there by Carlson. Fusett gets set up. Mace will stall, and that is, that is it right there. Game two in the book. As Redwood wins by nine, 25-16. We're going to game three now. Eagles have struggled and they need to do anything they can to get back into this because right now it's not looking so good. Well, a little recap for you. Lauren Hansen has been, Lauren Hansen and Allison Curry have been the stars in this game as they have both dominated defensively and offensively. For the Eagles, it's been Morgan Folk who's been doing a very good job. Eagles just need to use a little teamwork and get back into the game. But a great turnout once again uh, by the Eagles student section. If you're having a tough time understanding what I'm saying, I've been battling a cold for the past couple days and it's been miserable. But nonetheless, we're here for great night for volleyball and a lot of the community came out in support which is great so we're going to start game three here in a little over a minute like I said the Eagles next game will be against Fulda which I believe will be next Tuesday and Fulda which is, who is one and seven on the year has really struggled and uh, the Eagles just need to come back and try to win this one and then worry about Fulda. Redwood, on the other hand, is a bit more of a tough opponent the next time they take the court. They'll play Marshall. Marshall, who is 6-3, must have a, I'm assuming, a decent squad if they can beat 
Uh, uh, trying to think. They beat Lakeville North in two games in the Southwest Volleyball Challenge in Marshall, which that tournament involved a lot of Metro teams. St. Michael Albertville was there. Both Lake, or North and South Lakeville were there. So I mean, it's good competition. First game was a very back and forth game as the Eagles only lost by two. 25-23. This second game though, it showed a Redwood team that just looked like they weren't tired at all and were communicating every single every single play. Uh, but the Eagles want to come back and win three games. They just got to start talking, communicating, and just staying positive. So both teams will take the court as game three is just about to get underway. Looks like Jasmine Carlson will sub in early. I'm assuming for Michaela Hawker, like she has the past couple games. So, number 19 will serve. Ava one, good pass there over to Houston from Redmond. Portia Parth will come in. Oh, and that's a great start. I'm telling you what, the Eagles know how to start the game. In all three games so far, they've took the early lead. They just need to keep the momentum. You set will serve for the Eagles. It's over. Ava won, and that's going to be blocked and out by Katie Kelly. Subbing in now is number 14, Maria Babo, in for Codet, Lexi Codet. Huset will set up Portia Porras. Portia Porras will set it over. Oh, a great dig there by Mace. Katie Kelly will set up Morgan Holko. She'll set that over, but it's out of bounds. Two games to none. Redwood leads. Kenzie Mace will serve now. Hoko. And another point. And another violation by the Eagles. Warren Huset claims that she didn't do it, but she must have. Carlson will pass it to Huset. Huset all over to Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly, and that's in. Great kill by Katie Kelly, her second of the night. Volko will now serve for the Eagles. 3-2, Redwood leads. Volko to serve. Mace bumps it over. Oh, great job to keep it alive. Nice job by Volko, great dig. Massimar set up. One will serve it for Marissa Mace. You set to Portia Porras. Ooh, good dig there by Lund. And Hansen with another kill. Story of this evening is Lauren Hansen. She has done an excellent job tonight for the Redwood Cardinals and a big contributor to their first two matches. So, Klaus, number 13, who wasn't on the roster at the beginning of the game, is in the serve now. And Carlos. Oh, and Carlson did not want that one to go there as it went right to the net. And oh, well, a little change of plans there. Uh, the Wyndham point instead of Redwood as Michaela Hawker will enter the game for Carlson. Poor Athens will serve here. Mace with a good dig. One pass it to Curry. Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly with another kill by Katie Kelly as it's 4-4 four four now. 
No, right now the Eagles just got to keep this going. They just can't give up on the little things that they were doing wrong. They got to start start doing the little things right. Four out to serve, no. Oh, and Klaus could not handle that. That was an ace for Porsche for her first of the night. As the Eagles take the lead again. Fourth in the serve again. Here's the serve. Good dig there. And miscommunication, but it's going to be over, but it's... Oh, my goodness. Looked like a left. Katie Kelly with a kill. Great job by Katie Kelly there. As she's been doing a great job tonight also. She's, she's shown up to play. For us to serve again. Good pass over there. Lund with a great serve. Lauren Hansen, once again. Forrest will come out of the game, and Carlson will sub in. Hansen will serve. Polk will pass it to Husett. Husett sets up Michaela Hacker. She'll tip it. Oh, a good block there by... But it's bumped over. Lobo gets it. Good save there by Hokel. He set over, and oh, great dig there by Babo. And Babo put it over. And another point for Redwood as Mr. Weimdorf is not pleased with that call, and I don't think he's been pleased with the ref or with uh, officiating this evening. Six to six now. That's out of bounds. And the official claims that it was out by inches and Coach Regner, Regnier for Redwood didn't agree with that call as he thought it was in from his angle. Both have great angles. And we got a ball in play here. Don't know where that came from. But now yeah, we're back to play now. It's a little delay there. Redmond will serve. We're ready to go. And here's a serve from Redmond. Redmond. That's over. Hansen sets up the ball. Oh, my. The ball with another kill. As she will come out of the game. And uh, Lexi Kodat will come into the game again. Kodat will serve for Redwood. Mars passes it to Redmond. Redmond sets up Michaela Hacker. Oh, a great recovery there by Carlson. Back a hacker in now. Hansen sets up. Oh, and nobody home there. Curry with another kill. Those two, Curry and Hansen, big play, big time players. Kodat serve. Hoko passes it to Carlson. Carlson puts it over. That was back a hacker, excuse me. Oh, and that's, looks like the girl hit it twice. I think that was J.C. Ford hit it twice. So that will be a Wyndham point. We're tied 8-8 eight eight now. Game 3. Redwood's up 2 not, two games to 0. Mars will serve. Cross with the dig. Hansen sets up Mace. Oh, a great dig there by Jasmine Carlson as Holko will put it over. Kodet. And that's out of bounds. Wyndham point. As it's 9-8. And I think the Wyndham Eagles bench is starting to come alive. And so are the players out on the court right now. Madison Mars serves again. Hansen gets the pass. A block by the Hawker sisters. As they make... I'm going to call it the Hawker wall. Nothing was getting by on that one as both the Hawkers are very tall. Michaela being six foot and I believe Becca is pretty close to six foot. Boss with the pass to Hanson. Hanson sets it over and nobody home for the Eagles. Ten to nine. Eagles still have the lead. Hannah Redman looked like she had the best chance of the ball but couldn't quite couldn't quite get there. Curry will put it over. 
Hoka with the Oh, and that's going to be tipped by Redwood. As Hoko gets another kill this evening. Carlson came into the game for Hawk, uh, Michaela Hawker. And Carlson, the little barrel, will serve. And she puts it right in the net. It's 11-10. Wyndham still has the lead. Husek comes in for Becca Hawker, the younger sister of Michaela Hawker. Becca only being an eighth grader. She it doesn't look like it. She shows that she's got the experience to play at the varsity level. One puts it over. Husek sets up Portia Porath. Oh, a great dig. Oh, another great dig by, oh my goodness. And a block. Oh, that. Before you had the Hawker sisters blocking, now you got the Mace sisters from Redwood blocking. Lund will serve now. Ooh, it died a little bit, but Mars got it. And that's out by Portia Porath as the Eagles let the lead go. It's been the story of the night for the Eagles as they've been getting the early leads and then Redwood just claws their way back. Redman with the dig. Husset sets up Porsche Porath. And that looked like it was over, but they didn't call it. Looked like the Redwood player might have been over the net a little bit. And Mr. Rundorf, Coach Rundorf, will call a timeout as it's 13 to 11. The Eagles had the early lead as they were up by two, two or three. Now they're down by two, 13 to 11. with a one minute timeout. Like I said, football game tomorrow night at Island Park against Redwood. See if the boys football team can pull off the win. Be really nice to see. Having a two game win streak. Got uh, last week they won against St. James. That was a really great game to watch. Um, and I mean, boys football team has been playing very competitively this year. Losing in overtime to St. Peter first week and then beating St. James next week. So, well, we'll see if uh, Wyndham can mount the comeback. Because they're down two games to none. So, game will start, and that's going to be a good point there by Wyndham. As Eva Lund. Puts it out of bounds, and now entering the game is Katie Kelly for Hannah Redmond. Lauren Husset will come in to serve. Good serve there. Curry with a great pass. Oh, a great block by Katie Kelly. Thirteens we got for a score now. Husset will serve again for the Eagles. really close. Fourteen thirteen, Redwood with the lead as Mackenzie Mace will serve. Holko passes it to Husett. Husett sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly puts it over. Mace passes it to Lund. Lund over to Hansen and another kill for Lauren Hansen. It's been the story all night. Lauren Hansen, good volleyball player. So, Mackenzie Mace will serve again for Redwood, and it's over. Carlson digs it and gets it to Husset. Husset puts it over, and that'll be another kill for Portia Pora. She's been doing excellent tonight. It's a one-point lead for Redwood. Eagles clawing their way back and not giving in. Even though being down two games to zero, they're just showing great heart right now. Hoko will serve it over. Okay. And, oh, poor, good dig there by Lund. Houston sets up Porsche Porra. And that's a kill for Porsche Porra. 
Another kill for Porsche Forest as we got a tie game now. 15 15. The Eagles are just not going away. You gotta love that. Great serve there. Hansel put it over. Hoka with a great dig. Mars with a spike. And that's gonna be a kill for Mattis and Mars. As they take the 16 15 lead now. The Eagles are just not going away. Volko's going to serve again. Wendorf's pumped up. The crowd's pumped out. Their whole team's pumped up. I'm pumped up. Let's go. Oh, yeah. An ace for Morgan Hokel. And Redwood's going to call timeout. As Coach Regner has seen enough. Wendorf is showing a lot of emotion on the Wyndham side. Doing a great job. They just aren't going away and you, you just gotta love that about the game. You know, by the looks of it, in this timeout so far, the Redwood coach hasn't said anything. Now he finally has. And he's telling his girls, you know, had the lead, don't let it slip away. Wendorf's just telling the girls, you know, you just got to keep it up. So, both teams break out of the huddle. We're back to play here shortly. Holko's going to serve again for the Eagles. Houston getting a little information from the coach. Holko's going to serve. we got a 17-15 lead for the Eagles. Great serve there. Lund will set up. Oh, that's going to be out. 18-15, we got ourselves a game. The Eagles are clawing their way back. Hochul serves again. One passes it over. Oh, a good job there. Keep it alive. Mars puts it over. One will set up. That's out. And the Redwood point there didn't look like it. It looked like it, she hit the net, and then it went out. But official Todd Thompson saw that it tipped off the hand. Klaus will put it over. He set, sets up Porsche Porth. And that's going to be a kill for Porsche Porth, as it will tip off two Redwood players. And they take another three-point lead now. They are up 19 to 16. Porsche Porth to serve. Klaus with the pass over to Lund. Lund gets it up for Hansen. Great dig there by Husset. Mars puts it over. It's blocked. Oh, it stayed alive. And oh, great dig there. And a great save there by Mars. Set up. Oh, and she puts it right in the net. And that's what the Eagles need. It's a 2016 lead now for the Eagles. The place is. The gym is starting to come alive on the Eagles' side here. Porsche Parth to serve again, 20 to 16. She gets it over. Klaus bumps it over to Lund. Lund bumps it up for Curry. Great block there. Houston sets up Hawker. Hawker tips it. And that's going to be Hawker. Hawker. Great job there. It looks like her timing was a little off, but she has that arms, that wingspan. That's what she needs right there. As Redwood takes another timeout. Wendorf is just pumping the girls up over there on the EO side. And it looks like the Redwood is just Redwood's just having a huddle right now with their team. Their coach doesn't really say much. But now he's gonna start coming over and talk. Eagles will break the huddle as we still got a little bit of time left in the timeout. Eagles up 21-16 if you're just joining us. It's the third game. Redwood's up 2-0. Redwood an 8-1 team. Eagles a 5-1-2 team. It's a it's been a great battle. The first first few games have been good. And Porsche Porras has served. One gets it. She sets up Hansen. Oh, a great job there by Katie Kelly. 
Oh, and a little miscommunication. And that's a kill for Lauren Hansen, as I've been saying that a lot tonight. And it looks like Carlson will come into the game for Porsche Pora. As it looks like, oh, yeah, we found the ball. We lost the ball for a moment. And we got Luke Gilbertson coming up here. He's, he's saying hi. Hulk will pass it to Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly bumps it back over. Carlson bumps it over. Cross bumps it to Hanson. Oh, a great job there. And that looks like it was over the net. But it's going to be an eagle point because she was a net violation. This place is going nuts right now. A great job there by the Eagles to keep the ball alive in a simple mistake. And it looks like Coach Regner for Redwood didn't seem to agree with the call, but now he is. They oh, and it looks like they're going to card him. Only see that in soccer, but he got carded. He must have said something. And... Kind of confused right now, sorry folk, but Coach Regner said something to the official, and it must have been something pretty bad, because the official on the opposite side of where I'm sitting pulled out a card, a yellow card, and I thought that was just in soccer, but must be a warning of some sort. Need to brush up on my volleyball rules, bust out the old Ruba. And so here we go, 22-17, Eagles are up. And this place, is, this student section is just going nuts, and it's awesome. Great job there by Redwood. Oh, a great block by the Hacker Sisters. They're both up there. I think Michaela's going to get rewarded with the block. And oh my goodness. And actually, folks, I think because they got the card, Eagles got a point, so it's 24-17 now. And it's game point, and the uh, student section's letting it, oh, and Hannah Redman puts it into the net. It's alright, though. Eagles are still up by a good lead, 24-18. Myers passes it to Redman. Redman will set up Hawker. Hawker gets it over. Cross bumps it to Hanson. Hanson sets up Mace, and that's going to be a block, but it's going to be out. And it's going to be Redwood Point. And it looked like it was kept by the Eagles and it got uh, bounced out of bounds on the Redwood side. Mars puts it up. Redmond gets it up. And oh my! 24 20. Redwood's making it a little interesting. 24 20. Kodat with the serve. And that's out! So 25-20, and it looks like we got a little something going on in the student section. Tyler Morgan's trying to get something going here. Oh, get the roller coaster. And it looks like Tyler Morgan's getting the roller coaster going as he's getting the student section. Oh, getting the student section going. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. And that's that's something you gotta love about high school sports is the student sections and how how cool and creative their chants and different things are. As Tyler Morgan leads the student section with the roller coaster. But great turnout here tonight as we're going to game four. And these fans are getting pretty anxious to get the game started at game four.
So, in other words, it's it's been a great battle between both teams tonight. As the key players really tonight. I mean, I didn't get it really get a scouting report on Redwood, but from what I can tell is the May sisters, uh, Marissa and Mackenzie, great players. Uh, Lauren Hansen and uh, uh, there's another one. Allison Curry, both doing a fantastic job. Curry and Hanson both doing extremely well. And uh, but the Eagles came came to play in this last game, and that's really what you wanted. Yeah, the student section. Uh, a lot of them dressed up red, white, and blue. Uh, red, white, and blue in honor of 9-11, which is really cool. Um, great show of respect right there for all the ones who lost lost their lives and uh, lost special people in their lives. And other kids, uh, it was supposed to be a blackout tonight, but a lot of the kids didn't get the memo about the USA colors, red, white, and blue. So a lot of, you see a lot of black. A lot of red, white, and blue, but in other words, it's pretty cool. So we're going to start game four here. And, I mean, the player of the game in that last game had to be, there were a lot for the Eagles. I mean, Morgan Holkel did a great job. Portia Port did an extremely great job, and uh, Jasmine Carlson did, another, did a really good job, too. So Carlson, once again, will sub in early for Michaela Hacker. It's been like that the whole year. And Carlson will serve. You know, I'm thinking there there could be a little the Redwood team looked a little little in disbelief. The last game a great dig there. Lund will pop it up to Hansen and Hansen puts an exclamation point on that one and she gets another kill tonight. I'm running on the paper for how many kills she's got. So Codette, Codette will come out of the game and Bobo will come back in. Redmond with a great pass over to Husett. Husett sets up Portia Porath. And a great dig there by Curry. And Curry will set it over, or spike it over. Good dig there. Oh, and a, another great job there by Lund. Oh, a good dig there by Morgan Hoko. Portia Porath comes in. Another great dig for Curry. Mars will pass it to Redmond. Redmond sets it up for Hokel. Good job there. Keep it alive. Oh, a great block there by Portia Porth. Oh, and it's just out. Oh, my. That was a great back and forth battle by both teams as both teams are just showing so much heart and showing a lot of emotion. And it's just great to see Mackenzie Mace will come in and serve. Redmond passes it to Houston. Houston sets it up to Portia Porth. Oh, a great kill by Portia Porth as Curry couldn't handle that one. So it's 2-1. to one. Redwood lead. Houston serves for Wyndham. Just over the net. Myers will bump it up to Houston. Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Good block there. Good job of Jasmine Carlson to get it over. One sets up uh, Bobo. And Hoko right into the net. Oh, great job. Oh. Great effort by Madison Mars on that one as Katie Kelly just saw her go right by it. The ball go right by her. So uh, Klaus will come into the game for Redwood as Mace, Marissa Mace, that is, comes out. And Morgan Hoko passes it to Carlson. Carlson over to. Mars. Mars gets it over. Lund bumps it up to Curry. Oh, and Curry with another kill. Allison Curry and Lauren Hansen for Redwood have just been dominant tonight. So Klaus will serve again as Redwood takes a 4-1 lead. Mars with a good dig. Houston sets up Katie Kelly. Oh, a great kill by Katie Kelly as she's fired up. She gets everybody else fired up. Hokel's going to serve again 
or it will serve for the Eagles. Coco with the serve, over and out. Just put a little bit too much on it, but a good eye there by number 13 Klaus for uh, Redwood. So Lauren Hansen is gonna serve for Redwood. Here's a serve. Hoko passes it to Husett. Husett sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly's gonna lob it over. Hansen sets up the ball. Carlson with a good dig. Husett sets up Porsche Plus. And she's gonna tip it way where nobody is for Redwood. Good job there by Porsche Plus. And she's gonna serve. And it's 5-3 now for Redwood. Fourth to serve. There it is. Hansen sets up board. Oh, good job there by Portia Porth as she keeps it alive. Myers will put it over. Cross bumps it up. Looks like it couldn't get all of it on that one. Oh, yeah. Great block by Michaela Hawker. She's been doing an awesome job tonight, Michaela. Well, it's 5-4 to four now as we got ourselves another game. Eagles just got to keep it up. Keep the gas on the pedal. Or the pedal put on the gas pedal. Sorry, folks. Oh, and I... Oh, my! Curry, I have not seen that at all tonight. As she missed time, that jump horribly. Wow. And Porsche Porth comes in to serve. Mace gets it to Hanson. Hanson sets up the bull. Oh, a good tip there by, Folk, er, by Hawker. Hawker's going to get set up. Oh, and I... Oh, just missed this kill there for Hacker. Mars was trying to dig it out, but she could not quite get there. So, uh, Codette's coming in for the ball. And she, Codette's going to serve. Mars could not handle that one. Might have been able to let that one go, maybe. But... All right, we got 7-5 lead for Redwood. Wyndham's not going away. Kodat serves. Mars gets it to Husett. Husett sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly puts it over. Hanson sets it up for or Curry. Oh, good job there by Morgan Hochul. Husett's going to set it up for Husett. Oh, a block by Curry. She's been doing really well on the blocks tonight. Jasmine Carson keeping the positive mood for the Eagles. Kodet's going to serve, and it's going to be a lob serve. Carlson sets it for Husett. Husett sets it for Hacker. Ah, uh, Hacker couldn't quite get a hold of that one. And Wendorf's going to call a timeout. Good coaching by Wendorf. Call the timeout. Get your girls where they need to be. Tell them what they need to do. So the Eagles uh, took the timeout. It's nine to five now for Redwood. They turn it down. Okay, well, we're back here. And Kodat will serve for Redwood. And that's our good eye by Madison Mars. And in the game now is Hannah Redmond for Katie Kelly and Becca Hawker in for Lauren Husset. 9 to 6 now for the Eagles, or for the Redwood, as the Eagles trim the lead a little bit. And Redmond's going to get a great serve there. Hanson's going to bump it to Mace. Mars with a good dig. And Becca Hawker could not handle that one. As it's 10 to 6 now. Uh, Redwood up. The Eagles just need to keep clawing away at it. And Curry will serve. And that's going to be too long of a serve. It's going to be out. That's what the Eagles need on that one. 
Ten to seven, though. So, Mass and Mars will serve now. That'll be over. Hanson will set up for it. Oh, great ball. Oh, way to keep it alive, but it looked like something wasn't right there. Oh, good job there by Mark. Redmond will bump it up for Hoko. Hoko will put it over. Hansen sets up Ford. Redmond gets it to back of Hawker. Hawker sets it over. Hansen will set it. Oh, good block there. And that's going to be out. Good job there. By both Hawkers. As it's 10 to 8 now. Now Madison Mars serves again. Eagles just keep fighting. There's a serve from Mars. They're going to set it over. Redmond sets up Hokel. Hokel with the kill. Morgan Hokel with the kill. As it's 10 to 9 now for Redwood, as Redwood is seeing their lead trim down to 1. So in the game now is Ava Lund, and she came in for J.C. Ford. 19, Ava Lund. Mars will serve. One sets up Mason. That's going to be out. Well, we got a tie game now. A good serve there by Mass and Mars. Oh, couldn't handle it. Lund will serve now for Redwood as Redwood takes a one point lead. It's 11 to 10 now. So Redwood will serve now, and that's Lund serving. That'll be just over. Oh, that'll be an ace for Ava Lund. If you're just joining us, Redwood won the first two matches. Wyndham winning the last one by five, and now we're in game four, and Redwood's up 12 to 10. It's been a great battle from both teams tonight. Redmond sets up hot, er, Hokel. Hokel gets it. And Hansen will spike. And that's in. Hansen has not, it hasn't seemed to be tired at all. It just hasn't tired at all at all tonight. So that's one thing that the Eagles have struggled to do is get in front of her spikes. That's so a short serve there. Oh. And oh, a great job to keep it alive by Redwood. Oh, and they'll just barely get it over as they use the net to the advantage. 14 to 10 now, Redwood. Ava Lund to serve now. Carlson with the dig. Redmond over to Hokel. Hokel gets it. Oh, and a kill for Morgan Hokel. Carlson will serve now for the Eagles as it's 14 to 11. Good serve there. Hansen gets it. Oh, and another kill for Lauren Hansen. It's been the story all night, folks. Husett looks like she'll be subbing in for Natalie Rash. Mars gets it. Husset puts it over to Porsche. Oh, a great dig there by Curry. And a little miscommunication. Husset will set up Hokel. Hokel gets it. And she tipped it. She looked like she tipped it. Well, maybe not. Looked like it looked like Curry got a hand on it, but she must not have. 
and she won't make it over as she tried to lob it over and just get it over the net. As it's 16 to 12 now for Redwood, Eagles just need to keep clawing away at the lead. Uh, Redman comes out of the game. It looks like Katie Kelly's in the game. It's set. Mars with a great save. Oh. And Husset couldn't quite play it the right way off the net there. As Klaus will come into the game for Marissa Mace. And Klaus serves, and it's over. Holko gets it. She passes it to Husset. Husset sets up Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly gets it over. A good block there by Curry. Curry gets set up. Oh, a great save there by Madison Mars. Carlson will set it over. And Portia Porras with a great spike, but another great job of keeping it alive. Husset will pass it to Katie Kelly. Katie Kelly over to Holko. Holko puts it over. One gets it. She gets it to Hansen. Oh, and Hansen with another... Hill. Wow. She's been doing a great job tonight. Time up. Windham. It's been a great game this evening. I mean, every game was back and forth except for that second game where Redwood won by about nine. But this game, it's been battle. First game was a battle, and last game was a battle. So Eagles just got to keep it up. So we got about 30 seconds left in the timeout. Both teams showing that they, even though Wyndham's got younger players on the team, they're showing that they got the experience. Redwood, I mean, having nine juniors, five seniors helps, and they're only dressing two sophomores. So it goes to show they got a lot of numbers in that, in the upper class. So it's timeouts up. Both teams have broke the huddle and Klaus will serve for Redwood. And here's a serve from Klaus. Carlson passes it to Husek. Husek gets it. And that's going to drop. And that's going to be a Wyndham point. It drops right in front of the libero Klaus made a great effort on it but here's a serve from Holko and that'll be up and over but it looked like it went around the outside so that's going to be a Wyndham point and Wyndham cuts the lead to four Wendorf is getting his team pumped up here's Holko with the serve Mace gets it to Lund. Lund sets up the ball. Carlson gets it to Husset. Husset sets up Portia Porras. And she will have a kill. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game. Time out, Redwood. Great job by the Eagles as they're just clawing their way back and just not giving up. And the uh, Wyndham student section did the smoke chant, just telling the girls that they're fired up. So it's 18-15. Eagles have cut the lead to three after being down by about six. They just got to keep it up. Redwood breaks the huddle. Eagles break the huddle. Holko will get the ball, and she will serve. We're in game four here. Wyndham trying to force... Another game, a game five, and here's Holko with the serve. Mace gets it. She gets it to Lund. Lund to Hansen. Great save there. Get it over. And another great save by Curry. And Hansen again. Carlson gets it to Husset. Husset sets up. And that's going to be a kill. Oh, my. 18 to 16. Wyndham is not going away. Holko serves again. And that's going to be right in front of Mace. Hansen gets it. Carlson with a great play. Husset gets it back into play. Holko gets it over. 
Klaus gets it to Lund. Oh. And it looks like Curry is like palming the ball and just throwing it. But they're not calling it, so it's back to 19 to 16, a three point lead for Redwood. Lauren Hansen to serve for Redwood. Here's a serve from Hansen. Carlson gets it, passes it to Houston. Houston up to Portia Porth, and she's going to spike it, but a great job there by Curry. Oh! Kill. Number one, JC Ford. 5'6, she can sure jump. Hansen with the serve. Carlson gets it to Husett. Husett bumps it up to Mars. Mars gets it. And that's going to be a point for Wyndham. And it's 20 to 17. We're not going away, folks. Portia Porath serves. Hawker, Michaela Hawker comes into the game for Jasmine Carlson. Portia Porath to serve. And that's going to be out. Oh, oh, an eighth for Portia Porath. And this place is going nuts right now. 20 to 18. Here we go. Portia Porras serves again. Over the net. Hansen sets up JC Ford. A tip. Husa gets it. To Mars. Oh, and it's just out. So Carlson will enter the game for Portia Porras. And it looks like Codette is coming in for a bubble. So Codette's going to serve for the for the Cardinals. That's just over. A great job, though, by Morgan Hochul to keep it alive. Katie Kelly gets it over. J.C. Ford setting up Mace. Oh, my. And they're going to call on Hawker for stepping over. And my goodness, that's been another story this evening. 22-18, though. Mars gets it. She's get and and that's gonna be down. 22-19. We're not going away. I'm telling you what. Eagles are showing why they belong in this game, and that, that, that's it right there. So Rush is coming in for Husset, and it looks like Redmond entered for Katie Kelly. So Redmond's gonna serve. It's 22-19, and a good serve there. Hansen sets up. And that's out! Out of bounds! The place is going pretty wild. It's getting pretty wild in here right now. Student section's on their feet. A lot of people are getting up. It's 22 20 for Redwood. Redmond to serve. It's over. Kodak gets it. Hansen sets it. Oh, great save by Morgan Hoko. And Mars gets it. It's going to fall, but it's going to be saved by Hansen. Oh, and it's just in. 23-20. And Marissa Mace is coming in for Klaus. Resch is going to come out of the game. And Husset's going to come in. So in the game now for Wyndham is Husset, Michaela Hawker, Carlson, Mars, Redman, and Hochul. JC Ford sets it up. And it's tipped. Redmond sets up Mars. Mars puts it over. Good dig there. And that's out. That's out. 21. We got now. We got 21. So it's 23. Oh, and Michaela Hacker came down on her leg wrong. And she seems to be in a lot of pain right now. But she's going to toughen out. She watches a lot of Wyndham hockey. I'm telling you what, those hockey players are pretty tough. So Mars will serve. It's 23-21. Oh, and the coach from Redwood is talking back to the referee. I'm surprised he didn't get a red card this time. So we got 23-21. Mars is going to serve. Good. And it's passed over. That's what they want. Serve Hulk over. And it's in! It's in! It's 23 22 now! Eagles cut the lead to one! Oh my goodness, folks! This is going, this place is going crazy right now. Mars is gonna serve. 
The place is going nuts. Here it is, 23-22, Mars to serve. Here's a serve. Hansen gets it to J.C. Ford. Hansen, Hochul gets it. Redmond serves it up for Hochul. Hochul gets it. And it's going to be safe. And it's down. It's down. And we're tied up. We're tied up. Oh, my goodness, folks. Sorry for being so scratchy, but this place is going nuts. And the student section is giving it yes. Austin Fast and Matt Peaceful are going nuts. And, oh, my. Redwood calls a timeout. We got 23. Ethan Clare doing a great job on the camera as he's getting the whole student section involved. And this place is going nuts right now. 23 is we got. We're getting game four. Wyndham Fate trying to force a game five. They got two points is all they need. Okay? And right now they're on a roll. Redwood called a timeout to slow it down. Luke Gilbertson is more pumped up than I am right now. I think he is. So Mars will serve. This place is still going nuts right now. So here we go. Mars serves. It's 23-23. Here's a serve. It's down. And it is out. It is out. Oh my goodness. This place is just lifted the roof off this place. Oh my goodness. 24-23. I'm sorry if it's being scratchy, but this, oh, I'm, this is crazy. Game point right here. And Hansen gets it. She gets it over. And Hoko gets it. She's going to set up Redmond. And it's up. Okay, down, down, down. There we go. Oh! And Redwood he gets the equalizer. 24-24 now. Oh, Ethan. E me and Ethan Clara, we can't handle ourselves right now. <laughs> So, Ava Lund is in the serve now, and she gets it over. Carlson gets it up. Redmond with the set to Hochul. She gets it over. Lund sets up. Oh, a great take by Jasmine Carlson. Hochul sets it over. Hansen gets it. It looks like they're going to go to Hansen again. A great save. Great save. And Hocker gets it over. Oh, my goodness, folks. Oh, and a steal by Warren Hansen. She's been doing great tonight. That goes off to her. So, 25-24 right now. Redwood with the lead. It's over. Hochul gets it. Serves it to Redmond. Redmond gets it to Hochul. Hochul sets it. Oh, good job there by Redwood. Hansen, great save there by Jasmine Carlson. Here's Hoko again, tips it over. Oh, it didn't get all that one. And they're going to go back to Hansen. And A tough, hard fought game by both teams as Redwood takes the fourth game 26 24. Wyndham absolutely played their hearts out. Both teams played their hearts out. Uh, it's a good, good, a good learning lesson for Wyndham to, you know, maybe show up for the first game. But they played their hearts out regardless. I mean, it was fun to watch. Uh, key players in this one for Redwood, obviously, Lauren Hansen, Allison Curry. I mean, those two played great. And then for Wyndham, Portia Porath played great, um, and Morgan Holkel. Well, I'm Jack Malstrom. Thanks for tuning in to Channel. 22 and Eagle TV. Good night.